And yes, the next one comes immediately because that's just how I operate. And uh, let's also go ahead, use up the few revives that we have. We might as well, because uh, I might need them. I might not. They're the only way to find out is to get into the fight. And uh, I'd rather not have to do that and not have Mons ready to go. And we'll just go ahead and potion up. I do like that the potions do actually do 60 in this game, rather than just the, like, I think it's 20 that they used to do. Because it makes healing up like that a lot easier, which makes it to where we can challenge this Avlug just by spending some potions rather than super potions or hyper potions or whatever other potions you want to say. Now the real question is, is how big is this Avalog going to be? Because I know that they're normally big. Uh. Uh. Um. Uh. That's a big fucking chunk of ice. Oh, I went right into it. I'm a, I'm a professional. Oh. No. Okay, it's fine. Ah, it's not fine. Oh god. Oh god. Did we lose? Okay. Um. Okay, so we just have to go through all of these again. Okay. Which, I mean, the way that you're really supposed to do that is probably just to keep walking from side to side. Okay, we're down. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, that... That's fine. Okay. Okay, so now... Yes, I... Yeah, uh, yes. Oh. Uh, let's just restart battle. I guess? I don't know if the continue battle does something else. Let's just click restart, because now I know a little bit better as to what I'm supposed to kind of do. Oh, that was not intended. We'll just dodge through them. Okay. Nope. okay, back up, back up. Which side are you gonna strike first? Ah, god dang it! That's fine, fine. Oh god, that's cheating. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, come on. Come on. That's so not fair. He blasted me once. I got hit once and it reset me all the way to, or put me all the way at the last bit of health. Fuck this game, god damn. What the hell? Like, I understand if it does one chunk of health, but it fucking went from, oh, you've taken no hand, like, no damage, to, boop, you can only take one more hit. But everything else, every other attack that it does, is just regular hits. Okay. 
Well, that didn't work. Oh, I went into it again. Yep, we're gonna lose this fight. Okay, it's fine. Just gonna cheekily do that. Oh, that's so not fair. It doesn't even didn't even give me time to dodge it. Okay. There we go. Okay. This is fine. This will be fine. Um, fight. If we do... No. We might as well do agile style. Or we just do regular. I think we go with regular. Yeah. That was a crit. It knows Earth Power? Oh, god damn. This is not gonna be an easy fight. Okay, um... To Typhlosion, then, that's the best I got. And you're probably just gonna do the same thing, so it's just a strong-style flame wheel instead. I did, like, no damage. What the hell? Oh my god, it did like no damage. That was a crit. God damn it. If that wouldn't have been a crit, we could have taken another hit. Okay, um... I... I don't have a good plan here. Uh... We... Wait, Water Pulse is super effective? I feel like that's not right, but maybe it is. Okay, uh, fight. Let's... Let's just, uh, see about an Agile Sword Dance. Okay, so that'll boost our attack power. Oh, not that. Okay. Then if we do a close combat... Apparently that'll work. I... that was dumb of me. No! I rolled to the side! Okay, he's gonna ice spike the middle. Oh! Oh my god, you literally have to roll it. What the fuck? You... What the hell? Why is this one so fucking difficult compared to the others? Also, what does continue battle do? If you choose to continue battle, you can carry over some of the progress you made with depleting that. Do you know what? No. Fucking reset that gauge. I'm gonna do it the hard way. I'm gonna do it from full. Because it's just a matter of me not being so stupid. Why did it roll forward? And I did not fucking walk into that like you said I did. But sure, game, I walked right into it. I've walked into two of those attacks, apparently. With no indication of me having... I went into that one. That one's on me. Okay. 
Um, so we know that he's going to one-shot Rapidash here. So we might as well just strong style. But we also know that Sneasel will be fair. I should have just went with Sneasel. I should have just went with Sneasel right from the start. Okay. It's fine. I guess it's actually two shot Rapidash, but whatever. So I think we just go Sneasel. And then we go fight. Agile Swords Dance, not that that part matters, since it, we're already attacking right after this, but, nope, that I did it again. And then we go Close Combat, and that does work, okay. Okay, which side are you gonna... What attack are you starting with? Okay, you are starting with that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that was stupid of me. That was stupid of me. Oh, that was so stupid of me. I clicked it. I clicked it. Oh, that's so bullshit. I fucking got hit during the roll. Well, not really during it, but before you could actually even fucking move after it. That's such bullshit. I'm still just going to do it the hard way. I, I refuse to do it the, the way that it would make it so much easier on me. I refuse. What the hell? I was out of the way of that. might be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Usually. Okay, you're doing center. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, okay. We just spam these. We get ready. We dodge over. Go all the way up. And we do that. There we go. Okay. So then we go ahead, we fight. Oh, okay, so at, mm, this might work, it might not. It depends on how much damage he does. Okay. And it, there's always the chance that we then do get the next attack right away. Which would be fantastic. Please, please, no. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm not winning. Um, uh, yeah, I, I screwed this fight. Um, but I guess you might not actually be ice typed in this game. Because, uh... You know what? Yeah. Because you're weak to water, which is just weird. Mess your ice ground, which is probably what you are. Yeah, double edge, kill yourself. And he's also gonna back up. Then he'll start firing off his next attack. Should do that. And you're gonna do this attack. Which I'm apparently just gonna be stupid enough to stand in the middle of. And you're gonna fire off the spikes. Okay. 
Hell yeah. Get wrecked, buddy. Okay, we win. Whew, got it that time. Oh boy. That was what? Three, four attempts? I don't know. I thought I was being smart with sending Sneasel out first. Uh, that apparently didn't matter. Okay, so ice ground maybe is that? What typing are you? That's my. That's the real question I want to know. Oh right, some of those guys have moves that I haven't checked out yet. Are you ice ground? Is that what type you are? All right, and we get the icicle plate. Thanks. Cool. And you're just not even going to really let me know. Okay. I'm still annoyed with myself for killing that first Bergmite. You know, the shiny one. Garrick, sir, you don't need to look so downcast. But but seeing Mighty Avila quelled by such a slight child. A child that fell from the very sky. Is this Mike Sled Boy some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He is the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Is there still any guarantee that they were truthfully suffering? I mean, I already forgot, so you, there might have been, there might not be. Eh, well, doesn't matter. Mike Sled, Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in the almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. Well, he's a fucking fool alongside the rest of you, then. If he believes that it rules over, I think you guys are space. He's wrong. Oh well, doesn't matter. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their de devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida? What do you mean? I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. He has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can all overcome manner of strife. How we can overcome all manner of strife, so long as our Pokémon are with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow bro 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 broader. Broader. I can read broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Mike said. There's annoying to do, but yes, I did it. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So, is the Space Rift Time Rift gonna start closing up now, or what? Uh, no, I've actually got to go into it to close it. There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does per seem particularly smaller to whatever. It looks smaller. I hope, let's so, hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rip does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Mike Sled here. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, because you're both wrong! But you Pearl Clan folk aren't all that bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay that pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. He won't. All right, cool. Uh, right, that does remind me. Uh, let's let's change moves. Infernal Parade, what? Let's move... Oh, uh, uh, that... Infernal Parade? That's literally just, uh... Fire Hex. That's... That's ridiculous. Like, it's still Hex. But it's... Better, right? Yeah, it's... I, I mean, it's weaker... But it can leave the target with a burn. Not only that, but then it doubles its own power if it did leave a burn, essentially. Cool. 
Uh, let's also take Shadow Ball over Flame Wheel here. Alright, that'll work. Uh, let's check your moves, Seraptor, because uh, I'm get. Yeah, you're not getting Giga Impact. You can have Brave, Brave Bird, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you don't need Air Slash. That'll work. That'll work for you. And I didn't confirm either of those. I am stupid sometimes. Okay, Shadow Ball over that. Infernal Parade over that. Confirm. Cancel. Flamethrower over Quick Attack. That's good. Alright. Ta-da! You're done. Perfect. And then Staraptor. Actually. And I just did that wrong. Uh, oh well. It's fine. See, it's fine. It still works. Okay, and then Luxray, I believe you also had something. You've got Thunder. Uh, let's give you that over Thunder Shock. Chances are you won't really ever use Thunder, but hey, at least you've got it. And Floatzel. Hydro Pump over Water Pulse. And the rest, though, uh, yeah, actually give you Crunch over Quick Attack. That'll work. Ooh, I wonder, Floatzel, if you if I use you and use Swift in what is essentially a multiple person battle, do you hit mul multiple of them or do you just hit one? Uh, Rapidash, you did not get Flamethrower. Hmm. Okay, but you do have Flare Blitz, so let's give you Flare Blitz over Ember. Uh, let's give you Hypnosis over Tackle. Uh, actually, uh, you know what? Hypnosis over Double Edge, essentially. There we go. That'll work. There we go. That will do for now. Uh... Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way back. I could just simply teleport, but you know... Might as well use Braviary since we've got him. I mean, why not? Alright, and we're almost there. We do actually... Wait a minute, we, we went in that cave. What's in this one? Oh. Hello there, little orb thing that I need anyways. And... Yeah, we'll just... Just swap between... Grab it, thank you. There we go. And we can just run right on in here. And, oh, oh, text, text, text. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, so there's... Oh, okay, I get it. So you have Chrysalia. And then... What one is that meant to be? Is that meant to be Regigigas? It might be. But then what are those two? Because they, they aren't Dialga Palkia. At least I don't think. And then there's Garatina on the far right. Manaphy is on the bottom left. Palkia is bottom right, or middle, middle right. Like, middle row right. What's... What's the bottom right? I'm not sure. Oh well, whatever. We might eventually find out. Probably not, but hey. Maybe. Oh, and it looks like that's all that it's gonna give us for that stuff, so... For that little cave. So that might just be a little bit of a lore cave, then. That's kinda nice. Alright, well, let's get the rest of the way up here. Let's swap the Braviary, because why not? And we can just dive all the way right on down. Perfect. There we go, we go ahead and talk to you. Yes, care to report. And uh, we do have two Ralts, which is fantastic. Alright, there we go. 
All right, uh, this part I don't care about. And, oh yeah, nowhere near close to getting the next rank like what we're gonna end up needing. But that part can wait a little bit. Because uh, first and foremost, the next up is probably gonna be getting myself the uh, the Curlia. That's that's what I think. Okay, so let's go ahead, item storage, and just store everything over here. There we go. And then let's just uh, organize that. And let's just organize that. Actually, I don't like how that organized that, so let's just do it again. Uh, speaking of how it organized that, let's just uh, once again make sure that's organized. Okay, so it is. So then we need... Where to put them? Oh, it's still just those ones. Okay. Well, in that case, I don't care then. What I do want to do, first and foremost, before anything else, so that I don't forget to do it, is talk to you. Uh, we want to go to pasture team, or the one labeled team. Uh, sorry about your luck, Sneasel, but uh, we're going to go ahead and box you. And they're both female Curlia. This one is higher ranked, or higher, better, whatever you want to call it. Uh, go ahead and get rid of the apalms there. One of the bergamites. And that should work. Right? Right, this box is... yeah. There we go. That'll... That'll do us. And you'll get me some more grit stuff. Grit gravel. Just grit gravel? Okay. That's unfortunate, but we do have Curlia on our team, so we can start to work on getting that leveled up into being, uh, into being a Curlia rather than just a Ralts. And have you still not evolved that thing yet? Oh. Oh. Hey, look! I I did it. I got him to evolve into. That's not Silkin. That's Cascoon. Yep, I knew it. Actually, can we do it again already? No. Uh, yeah, he, he really wants that Beautifly, but I knew the moment he said it, he wasn't going to get Beautifly, and instead he's going to get Dust Talks. And uh, would you look at that, I was right. He's got a Cascoon now, and he's calling it a Silcoon. Sometimes you just have to be a bit on the dumber side to get things to work out for you. Oh well. Each of the Pokemon nobles has became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by a hand of our mysterious Rift-born helper. When, when tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower, and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the Survey Corps work is never over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Deal. I mean, I don't really get the choice in that, so you know. Oh, random thought relating to catching all of the Pokemon. I did happen to find a Pichu while I was not recording. Uh, yeah, I, I threw a ball at it, threw a ball at it, and I threw my Rapid Ash at it, and then it fled. So I didn't catch it either. But you know, not a whole lot I can do about that. Alright, and looks like you ordered some extra food, I think is what he said, or something. I didn't really read it. Having the no having other nobles all quelled puts a grief threat to rest. Now it's time we focused on our survey work. Though we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my re reservations as to whether Avalog needed, que needed quelled. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. 
Yes, someone might have been under attack by some frenzy noble at this very moment if my sled hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder, though, just what is the is this space-time rift anyways? And what will make it finally go... Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave Mike Sutt stranded here? I'm not sure. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt about that. And even if we don't, you're always gonna have a home here with us. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on, nothing less than a completed Pokedex. That's right, and we'll get it done with Mike Sled in the lead and me as his, the valiant assistant. Assistant? Oh, come now, Akiri. Don't sell yourself short, you're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps too. Well, thanks for that, Professor, but... Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. Yeah, you see, all I do is I catch the Pokemon. You you guys do all the paperwork, so you're both my assistant. That's how that works. I mean, that's not really, but that's what I'm going to say, so, you know. That's how it works now. Kaboom! The rift get bigger? I bet the rift got bigger. Am I right? Am I right? Oh! Oh, we're actually in, we're in the house this time. Oh god. Oh, that... Okay. Okay, change outfit. Can I... Can I... Can I toss this in the trash? Alright. We did get shame and stuff. Oh, we apparently also got some Team Galactic stuff. Uh, apparently that's the modern stuff. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna go ahead and wear the the Team Gala. Oh, wait, it's not just any Team Galactic. It's specific specifically Cyrus. Cool. Well then. Let's see, what color do we want to... You know what? How red is that? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, uh, finished clothing. Yep, we're going with this and this now. We are now a Team Galactic leader. Alright, let's go. Wait, that was the Rotom thing. Hold up. No, no, let me go back inside. Let me go back inside. Let me go back inside. No, no, let me go back. I can't go back inside yet. It's not going to let me. Oh, it got a lot bigger and different. Mike said, uh, I think it broke. Wait, it is broken more. It's, it's a lot more broken. That's a that's a lot more broken. Um some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Okay. Deal. Okay. Wait. So why did they pre why did they have SG on their current labels if they're team galactic but galactic team I don't know the way the sky has changed it is ominous very very ominous indeed what is this about commander you did call us here to discuss the calling of all the nobles didn't you that can now wait there is more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of the strange lightning, the one that drove Cleavor into a frenzy. It struck the night that Mike's lead from, fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Mike Sled? Uh, I don't really know. I like that answer. 
Indeed. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You are connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you brought about? Oh, I read that wrong. Oh well. And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you are really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest my set has it wronged us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee who he is, who he, who he is, who he- I- fuck it, I can't read that. Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's- no one can do that, you're asking us to prove negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of the all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Mike supposed to do then? Hmm. Close the big rift? You'll be given a chance to investigate this latest disaster. Not as a member of Team Galaxy, though. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. Those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you, who fell from the sky. And uh, so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and prove your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in him? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Okay. I guess I'll leave then. Alright. You're to be expelled from the village? What? Why? Orders are orders. Okay, bye. Guess I'm guess I'm gone then. He looks so sad. Scary. Rude. Can it really be true? Rude. My god, can I not walk faster? Hmm. Well, you know what? Screw all y'all. Oh, wait a minute. This is a random thought that just occurred to me. So, currently, we got a warden who is from another world where HMs are a thing. Galar and the other regions still exist in this time, but this is also pre sino which, the, the random thought here, either way, ignore the rest of pretty much what I just said, it, it half ties into this, but it also doesn't. If you look at the sky there in the top left, and then you remember what the sky looks like in BDSP when Cyrus brings Dialga or Palkia to create his own time world thing, whatever. It looks very similar to that. So I wonder if in that, in Cyrus doing that, he accidentally looped the two to connect to each other. And that's what's making the break in space time like this. I wonder if that's what it is. It might be, it might not, I don't know. But that, that, it's a theory. We can take it from here, ma'am. Okay. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. 
it is only right that I should personally escort him from the village and to the Fieldlands camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. So am I right in guessing that she probably also can now be found from time to time here? Or is it going to be completely different? I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable and I might add utterly absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. It'll get you in trouble, too. You'll only cause him more pain if you're driven out as well for defending him. Hmm, fair enough. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Irid Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could... Try to go find Leon first. He's likely to be. Oh my god, you're gonna force me to go to there first? Okay. Okay, um. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. I, yes, I know. All that really matters is that you hold firm in your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Um, so it's gonna force me to seek him out. Can I not just simply... Well, that wasn't exactly how I meant to do what I meant to do here, but it works. You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift! If light starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in history could be thrown into a re frenzy. The entire clan is a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. Yep, I'll go never mind then. Is that really all you came to say? Look, you don't need to try and put on a brave face. You've been a help to the Pearl Clan, and we know what kind of person you are. Though it must be said, for every sip a sympathetic ear you might find here, there may also be a detractor who fears your presence. I do truly wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I, I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a uh, caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find her at the Warren Bridge. Okay. Where's that at? Have I been to it? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably. I think I have been. Okay, you know what? We'll just travel alongside this side here. And all that we really need me to do is just go up to the mountain, right? Go up there and see exactly what's going on with it. Wouldn't that kind of solve some of the issues? I mean, it might. It probably wouldn't, according to them. But, you know. That's beside the point. Alright. Is there gonna be... Any real useful stuff down here? Alright, well... Well, that does get us all the way over on this side, so that does work out. Hello, Grappler. Goodbye, Grappler. Ow. And we can just hop over that. Hop, hop, hop over that stuff. And here we are at the bridge. From behind. Hello! My, my, what a frightful sky. 
Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone, anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to figure it out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. Your great weirdier took a liking to you. I want to offer my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way around the in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Time does not heal everything or fix everything. After all, it cannot fix death. Death is permanent, but you know. Okay, I have no idea where I'm currently at now, but whatever. Just go to Mount Cornet. Kerr. Oh, hello, Shinx. What's up, buddy? Hello, Luxios. Alright, well... The Shinx was adorable, not gonna lie. Very adorable. Oh, hello, Volo. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Yeah, apparently they do. Found you at last. I've been looking ever all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy Team decided to treat you. But don't worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where Yui can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be perfect, uh, the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. So do we essentially get our own little camp then? Is that what that means? I would guess that that's what that means. Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace. But you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. Or something similar. Oh. Shrieking your work to come pester me again. Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Miss uh, Mistress Kogita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of history, history's myths and legends. No, Mistress, thank you. Just Kogita. And this is? Why, Mike Sled, this is the man of the hour. He is the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of. Lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. D duty? Indeed, I am a guide to you, lost one. For the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, last lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. Way to go, Cyrus of the future. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. I definitely feel like we can blame Cyrus of the future for this. Because I feel like that's probably very accurate at this point. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and further still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. Uh, neither- Why? Give me a third option that says neither of them because they're both idiots? Why can't there be that third option? The expanse from 
antiquity and to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly, sound surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, compri comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as the two clans do? Because they're both idiots! They're inseparable, sure. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Indeed, they're both idiots and they're both wrong! Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. Hisui holds three... Spirits... Three spirits of the lakes, uh, Mesprit, Yuxi, and Azel. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. Well, the red chain is not going to do what we want it to do. Just saying. But, oh well, either way. And regardless of the truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. Yep. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Okay. Yes, I, I already know. I know where they're at. I kind of already know where they're at. Uh, I'll need rest too. Okay. Abra. Right? Abra? Alright, well. Cool. I, I guess uh, our star ranking doesn't currently matter. And I was right. It is an Abra. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter address addressed to you, Mike Sled. And uh, I bet you that it's from, uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Cy Cy or, yeah, Cyrus's ancestor. The blue haired lady. To Mike Sled. You may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilife Village. I have also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Yeah, I was right. It's Silene's. Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Team, Expedition Team. Good tidings from the letter, then. That's right. I'd tell you it's a secret, but y you'd just steal the red letter and read it anyways. Now then, so we're to visit three lakes. Doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Bolo? Such a cons consummate guild merchant. I've managed to reassure my people for now. Uh, the wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles too. Seems all quiet, all's quiet for the moment, and so here we are. But still, we'd never get away with openly, openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us, me or her. It's up to you. Y yeah. Yeah, it is. So, the catch here is time or space. Dialga or Palkia. Considering I played through Brilliant Diamond and got Dialga, so time, I think we go with space. 
We'll help. We'll take Irida. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Kilibor, and you and I made his bombs together. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna go with Irida. It might be better not to, but it doesn't really matter to me. Left over? Think again. He trusts me enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I can't let you so I can let you all know if anything happens. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Sounds good. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the history uh acuity. Uh, that's Maybe the one that I'm going to go to first. Because uh, I believe Acuity is bottom left. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. It's, okay, it's just going to give all three of them to us. Can we just use Arceus to teleport? I uh, don't think so. No, no we cannot. That's fine. That's fine, though. We'll just duck, dodge, and dive away. Alright, uh, so we will be going to Hyde's camp here, but before we really go on with continuing here, we're going to have to say so sorry that this is uh, the end of this episode, and we're going to go ahead and, like I literally just said, end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. The next one will be starting up pretty much immediately as well, so uh, until then, have a good one, and bye bye